Hi, welcome to Towson Veterinary Hospital. I'm Dr. John Firmani, and we would like to spend the today showing you around our hospital a little bit to show you different aspects of veterinary medicine. This practice was established about 79 years ago. I've been in practice 35 years or so. This practice is fairly unique because we have a clientele that allows us to do most of the medical things that uh, uh, will help out their their pets um, and help them achieve a nice quality of life. Uh, we do all sorts of different procedures here. We do dental work, we do surgery, we do x-rays, um, we also do EKGs um, for heart conditions. Welcome to Towson Veterinary Hospital. We'll show you around and uh, let you see everything. My dog Toby has to have his arthritis shot. He receives an arthritis shot every 10 days. Okay. And uh, he's going to be 13 years old on January 17th, this Friday. Dr. Firamani has been his uh, veterinarian since uh, he was born. As a matter of fact, Dr. Firamani has brought Toby back from death twice. <clears throat> About uh, six years ago, Toby experienced a, an episode of uh, hemolytic crisis from an autoimmune episode. Dr. Faramani uh, treated him for about four weeks here in the hospital setting and really brought him back. I would recommend Dr. Faramani as a uh, clinician uh, really over anyone I know of. He's a great clinician but I think he also is very passionate and compassionate with animal care. And when the time comes where, you know, sad decisions need to be made, he's very compassionate and understanding and uh, is a good partner in, at the end of life for these dogs. Yeah, have you been they were good shooting. Later today we're going to have an orthopedic surgeon that's going to come in and he's going to do uh, two cruciate knee surgeries for us. Uh, so you'll be able to see us prepping some of those animals. We'll try and go over some of the casework so you can see their x-rays ahead of time and you'll be able to see what the orthopedic surgeon is doing. We'll probably be able to get a little film of him doing the actual surgery and possible recovery of the animals afterward. Well, the first procedure was a torn uh, cruciate ligament, ACL, and basically we opened the joint and debrided, took out the torn ligament. That's where we are now. It's going to take them three to four months to heal and about another six months to rehabilitate. I'm the receptionist at Towson Vet Hospital. I've been here, this is my ninth year working. The thing I like most about my job obviously playing with the pets. Some of these little guys that come in here are just, they really are full of personality. Each one of them is different in their own way. I moved here when I was 17 down from Alabama and came up here and saw an ad in the paper and I love animals so much. I always said since I was a little little girl that I was going to work with animals. One of the downsides to veterinary medicine is the emotional ties that you get with your pets uh, and that becomes a very emotional situation that veterinarians have to learn to internalize and be able to pass away, pass on so that they don't get too upset or too frustrated with the veterinary medicine in the practice. Um, 
There are times when we'll have cases that just don't respond the way we want, that go south on us, and we lose those pets, and it becomes very difficult at times. But when I was growing up in high school, it was something I was very interested in. My parents recognized that I had an animal interest, and I liked taking care of the animals. And I was lucky enough to get into Kansas State University out in the Midwest. And I went out there for six years, got my regular education and then my veterinary education. Uh, and after that, I came back home to Maryland, uh, where I've lived uh, all my life. I want to thank you all for coming to Towson Veterinary Hospital. I hope you've enjoyed your visit today. I hope you've seen a lot. I hope you've learned a little bit. And this is a really great, enjoyable profession where every day the clients are giving you a little personal reward because you're seeing a healthy pet uh, or you're seeing an animal that has been sick but that you've helped get healthy and increase the quality of their life. And that leads to a personal reward that keeps us going every day.